Shalom and welcome to another video at the Genesis 49ers page today's video is going to be you guessed it the slave trade the native Indian slave trade we're going to deal with native Indian slavery and we're going to deal with them being sold on ships because there's a lie you know going out and a rumor going out that oh native Indians were never sold on on uh, ships on cargo slave ships as slaves you know according to Deuteronomy 2868 that the Israelites would be sold on ships and be sl and sold as slaves by the way of ships so we're going to prove that the native Indians fit that prophecy as well in today's presentation so with no further ado let's commence first slide it says so uh, Benzoni which Benzoni was a conquistador in the 16th century Bizzoni tell us, tells us in his day, uh, circa 1550s, that American captives were being traded for wine, flour, biscuits, and other merchandise, even including women made pregnant by their captors. Source American Discovery by Jack Forbes, page 170. I'm going to be using Jack Forbes sources throughout the whole presentation because Jack Forbes is an expert when it comes to this, and a lot of other media outlets are other sources that they tend to kind of um, not talk about this or ignore this topic because the Indians were very much so sold as slaves and a, a reason why they don't want to talk about it because it makes blacks and Indians relate to each other also they want to push that lie that all native Indians are extinct there's no native Indians which the mosquito men debunk that you can look up the mosquito men those are those Indian tribes that fleed in the mount fled to the mountains of Guatemala and Central America and basically excluded themselves from anything the Spaniards or Portuguese Dutch or English were doing for hundreds and hundreds of years and preserved themselves and a lot of them are black those are native Indians that never mixed racially with the conquistadors and you can look those people up they're called the mosquito or the mosquito Indians not not to be confused with the Spanish word mosquito which means fly alright so let's go to the next slide so what do we find out about this on this slide that uh, they were American meaning native Indian cap captives were being traded for wine flour biscuits and other merchandise even including women pregnant by their captors okay so they were being sold says during the 16th and 17th century Spain was home to a hundred thousand to three hundred thousand captives a lot of these slaves were uh, native Indian as well okay why because we know Seville or Sevilla Spain was a known slave port and a lot of native Indians were sold to this slave port as well continuing on Lisbon Lisbon is in Portugal and may have a rich history of having Indian slaves as well as late as circa 1710, the Portuguese of the Piauí region were trading away three or four Americans for one African from Mongolia. A source of American discovery by Jack Forbes, page 172. Uh, Lisbon again. Many Americans ended up in Lisbon. The Algarve and other sections of Portugal in 1591, a confraria our organization existed for Indians living in, in Lisbon so that proves how did they get to Lisbon how did they get to Portugal did they fly over there did they go on Expedia.com and book a plane in a hotel no we know they they were brought over in cargo slave ships and to the right you can see a depiction of the yokes of iron on the uh, Brazilian Indians on the Amazonian Indians um, of that time and the source again American Discovery by Jack Forbes page 172 all right, the topic is war here. It says the establishment of British colonies in North North America and the Caribbean greatly accelerated the adoption of slavery by the English. Many thousands of Americans were either captured in warfare or purchased by allied tribes and sold to various regions, including Barbados. Listen now, I want you guys to really pay attention to what I'm about to read and reveal to you, including Barbados. I mean, they were sold. They had to, they had to go to Barbados because this took place in New England, okay, the 13 colonies. They were sold from that 
from that area down into Barbados, which is our islands with, within the Circum Caribbean, right? Jamaica also within the Circum Caribbean, okay? Providence Island, Circum Caribbean, Spain, what we talked about earlier, Se Sevilla, Spain, or Seville, Spain, and North Africa. They were also sold into North Africa, the Mediterranean area, okay? So, let that be noted, okay, Unde and understood that they, uh, shout out to my brother who, who brings it out like that, uh, Moshe, but anyway, at any rate, uh, let that be duly noted and understood that they were sold into North Africa, they were sold into Spain, they were sold into to uh, Barbados, Jamaica, they were sold all over, okay, just like the scriptures say what happened to the native Indian stock or the Israelite stock, okay, because Indian is a exonym, it's not an endonym, an exonym is something that, a title that was an appellative place on them by outside race or force. Which Indian just means servant, comes from the uh, Latin Indios. Alright, let's deal with these ships. It says, New England saw a large number of pet points, Nar Nar Narragan sets, excuse me if I butcher that, and others sold in 1638 and in the period from 1676 to 1683. Many went to Tangiers. Tangiers is in Africa. I mean, Tangiers is in Africa, North Africa, Morocco. Tangiers, Morocco, after 1670, South Carolina became a major exporter of slaves. They were selling the native Indians as slaves. They were exporting them, taking them away from America and selling them on ships, depopulating Florida in the process. One of those places they took them to Tangiers, Morocco. Okay, they were sold and put into bondage by ships across seas. And the source American discovery by Jack Forbes, page 175. And to the right, you can see an image that clearly depicts this. It's uh, Comstock clip clip line from for San Francisco, San Francisco, composed of strictly first class clipper ships with quick dispatch. The well known and favorite clipper ship, King Philip. They named the ship after King Philip, Philip which is Metacomet, right? Or Matacomet, the uh, Indian king at that time of the Pet Poits. They named the ship after him to mock the, the fact that they took the Pepoits and other various Indian, tri Indian tribes and sold them on ships. They named the ship after him, King the King Philip. Next slide. Indios, which you covered, means servants, slaves. After Pepoit English War in New England, many American prisoners were enslaved and sold. In 1638, many slaves were sold to the West Indies. Indians believed to be hostile were shipped away to slave markets of the West Indies, Spain, and the Mediterranean coast, which included North Africa. Source, Africans and Native Americans by Jack Forbes, page 55. Moving on. Ships again. John Elliott, which he wrote a history of, of the, uh, the New World, basically. He's one of the early authors of writing the histories of the New World. And this is what he... What he understood, it says, knew of a case in which a vessel filled with Indian prisoners. What what vessel? A ship. Is this talking about a 747? A jet? No, this is talking about a ship. Did they go to American Airlines? Okay. No. They were made captives, put on ships, just like the strip just depicted us, as, uh, depicted us and, and depicted that we would go through. Okay. Let me read it again. John Elliott knew of a case in which a vessel filled with Indian prisoners tried in vain to unload its human cargo. She finally managed to get rid of them at Tangiers in North Africa, where they still where, where they were still living in 1683. Okay? Source Africans and Native Americans by Jack Forth, page 55. To the right, you see the image, and you see Native Indians. What color are they? They are depicted as being brown, dark-skinned, black-skinned beings. Okay? And I put this in here to, to bring everything home. Alright? Because the Native Indians were originally Negroids. It says, note that the Native New England people are blacks, not what they call Na Native American Indians. Okay? Alright? So let that be understood. Next slide. Ships again. A policy was developed early in New England of exchanging Americans overseas for Africans. After the 1637-38, that policy was effectively, effectively in, impl implemented by means of war, which provides captives. Source Africans and Native Americans by Jack Forbes, page 56. What war? The Philip, 
the King Philip War, the war against the Pet Port and the English. All right. Let me to the right. You can see an advertisement for tobacco. And what color are these Indians again? They're black. And you can see to the back. Notice there's a, a Negro Indian in the back. And he's holding over, holding up some so, uh, some sort of leaf or umbrella to shade the white man that's doing business or purchasing or retrieving his product from these slaves, these servants. Okay. This is an actual advertisement by Rose of West Virginia, in Rose of West Virginia, White Valley, uh, Chancery Lane, London. Look at that. The truth right in your face. And th these Native Americans were sold as slaves. In closing, I want to just make a uh, quick PSA, if you will. You know, a lot of videos come out on YouTube. A lot of videos. A lot of videos try to come against the Native Indians and Nord being the Northern Kingdom of Israel. Okay, a lot of people try to go against the 12 tribes chart, but one thing they fail at doing is providing source material or anything that can debunk the claims. Okay, I can clearly show as as what was seen in this video that they fit the prophecy in Deuteronomy 28 verse 68 when it says that we'll be sold as slaves on ships. They fit that prophecy. There's no denying that they were black. They're still black to this day. Just you don't call, you don't recognize that they are original or aboriginals of this land. That's all it is. You're just confused. Like I said, reference the mosquito ban. They are all Negroid Indians who never amalgamated or mixed with quote unquote Europeans. Because guess what? Caucasians are not Europeans either. They don't even belong there. Okay, but that's another another class, another topic we'll touch uh, in a future lesson. Be it the Lord will. Be it Lord's will. Uh, with that, I'm going to say shalom. As you can see in, in the presentation, clearly the native Indians were sold as slaves. Many went to Spain. Many went to Portugal, Lisbon. Uh, we didn't go over today, but many went to Antwerp, Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, we brought up Morocco, which is in North Africa, Tangiers. Okay. They went all over the place. The Caribbean, the Circum-Caribbean. They were sold by ships and made to be human cargo, Providence Island. We brought all that out today. With that, I conclude. I pray that you guys gain understanding from this. Understand who your brothers are. Understand who your family are. Understand your pedigree and understand your heritage. Like Carmen said, don't disrespect your heritage, man. With that, I conclude. And I say shalom.